Melanie Margallo, second place in that uh, 200 IM tonight. So take us through the race. I, it didn't look like it felt too good the last 10-15 uh, meters. No. Um, so the one goal that Jack has given me for my 200 IM this summer is my backstroke. He gave me a split that he wants me to go. Um, so the last couple of meets I've been really pushing my backstroke to the limit um, to try to get down to there and I know that I need to hurt in backstroke now so that when I'm pushing it at the end of the season it'll feel easier mm -hmm. so I've been really pushing my backstroke as hard as I can um, and I definitely paid for it. I paid for it in both IMs this weekend but I know it'll pay off in the end when I can still bring it home. <laughs> yeah so it's, it's just it's just a weird feeling or, or a weird sight to see you struggling in the freestyle. Yeah, it, I was like, wow, she's really coming for me. This is uh, pretty painful. Yeah, it was interesting, but she got picked for drug testing because she got first. So I was like, oh, I'll take second for yeah. tonight. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So yeah. um, where are you right now? I used to swim a lot of races in the Florida Man, which is not something you do all that often anymore. So um, why and how does it fit in with, with the larger plan? Um, it's just training, you know, it's April. Um, Doing the 400 IM was pretty hard, and I was like, yeah, I remember why I stopped swimming this event. Um, but yeah, I think it was just good for me to just get up and do it and then try to do the 200 free afterwards. It's, I mean, April is just like training, mm -hmm. so. Is it still a 200 IM, two free, and then 200 breaststroke? Still a pretty nice 200 breaststroke, so is that maybe more of a focus now oh, uh, yeah. than it was last year even? Um, yeah, well, the thing is that at Nationals, the two free and the two breasts are on the same day. Oh. Um, so... You're used to that. Yeah, it's not going to happen this summer. There's not going to be any doubles for me this okay. summer. Um, but... So, kind of leading up to this, or leading up to trials, it's figuring out which way to go with okay. it. Um, how I'm doing, how everyone else is doing, just to feel everything out. Um, so that's kind of what I'm using these next meets for, is to see... If we're gonna go two free or two breasts, the double worked well last summer. Yeah, amazingly I, well. It's a yeah, but this one's a little bit different for me. Okay. Yeah. Why? Um, I mean, I'm like confident in the 200 I am, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a lot com a lot more confident in that than I am in either the two free or the two sure, breasts. Um, so yeah, and the both those legs are are both of them are two leg dominated. I think to swim on sure. the same day. Um, so yeah, definitely not going to do both. <laughs> not happening this year. All right. Um, so how about, how about the Georgia Bulldogs? Um, maybe not the NCAA finish they're used to, but so what did you get out of watching them from afar this year at NCs? Um, I mean, it was just awesome that they just kept pushing and kept fighting. Um, I mean, we obviously were. It was just well for me. Um, I saw that they got fourth and that they had beaten Texas and I was like, oh yes, good job because we were a little bit salty that they had come and just yeah. annihilated us at the dual meet and took out our pool record. Um, and then to get it, get them by .5 was just kind of like, I thought it was funny, which it maybe is awful of me, I don't know. Probably. But um, so yeah, no, they just fought so hard and um, I think we're still like building up. Um, mm -hmm from what happened a couple years ago, so yeah. I think I think they'll be getting better. How about Olivia, the way she swam in her last NCAA? is not winning anything, but you're right there three times um, moving into the pro career. Yeah, I mean, it's insane. Jack said to me, um, he was like, can you imagine going 50.0 in the 100 yeah. back, 46, like three in the 100 free, whatever she went in the 50 and not winning at NCs, and I'm like, no, I don't understand how girls go 46 and 100 free. Like, I still haven't been able to wrap my brain around Simone that. Simone went 45.5. Then, yeah, and then I see Simone goes 45.5. I'm like, but I don't understand how girls go 46 yet. You can't jump to 45. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> you know, she did pretty well. So how, how about what she's dealing with right now? What, Simone or no, Smalls? No, Olivia. Yeah, I mean, it's rough for her being sick uh, this weekend, but better to happen in April than at trials this summer, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit of a bummer that she came out here and didn't get to race. It would have been good to get the long course in, you know, like all the other college kids have gotten in um, this weekend. But, um, yeah, I think she's a little bit bummed, but at least now she probably won't get sick again this summer. What advice have you and maybe Haley given her about 
pro, about being a pro? Well, I think she's actually been really enjoying it because, I mean, she came back pretty fast and got to um, be in like the post grad group a little bit because we were doing uh, separate stuff from the kids that were just getting back <laughs> in shape. Um, and I think she's enjoying it and she is happy about where the future is going to be going and she's happy that she kind of gets to focus on herself a little bit more. Um, I mean it's really stressful being someone like Olivia who um, like, it's so much for the team and uh, she's just such a big part of it um, and a lot of pressure gets put on her. So now she kind of just gets to be a pro and be herself and I think she's really looking forward to it. Yeah. Speaking of which, how, what are your feelings about that Georgia Pro group kind of getting significantly bigger after this year? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Like. I was just talking to Jerry about it today. I was like, we're actually going to have a lot of people next year when the team goes away. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And it's a great group of kids that are becoming pros. So all my, most of my favorite kids are now pros. So yeah, it's, it's exciting. All the ones that were still there, or, or, that were on the team in your senior year. Yeah, I know. Now I'm Maybe like not, old? yes, I'm like not relevant to the team at all anymore. The seniors from like these were my freshmen and now they're done and now I am like literally not a part of Georgia at all anymore. It's really crazy. I'm super old. <laughs> it's alright. No, one of the coaches the other day said like because I wasn't pulling lane ropes and one of the boys was like Mel's not pulling lane ropes and one of the coaches goes yeah Mel's almost 30. <laughs> I was like Okay, well I'm 25, but I guess when you're a 25 year old at a college program, you seem closer to 30 than everyone else. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm getting old. It's fine. Well, thanks, Mel. Uh, nice job tonight. Thank you.